Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all the new Avo dropped recently. I hope this guy helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so number one is the best window settings, and for that, simply search for settings on your PC. Once you are here, go down to gaming and then open game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar is an overlay which keeps running in the background which may cause performance issues while you're playing your games. So I highly recommend you guys to disable game bar. Once that is done, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode usually optimizes your PC by turning things and applications off in the background which helps you to improve your PC's performance drastically while you're playing your games. Right beneath that, click on the graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings right over here. In this list, you have to enable two options. Both of them are hardware accelerated GPU scheduling which is also known as hacks and optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input and render latency. Once it's done, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button right over here. Now you have to head over to the download location of your game. If you're unsure of the location, simply right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. This will directly take up to the download location. Simply copy this file path and then click on the browse button once again. Paste this file path right over here and press enter. Now head over to Alabama, binaries, win64 and you'll find the our win64 shipping.exe simply click on the add button over here and the application should be added head over to options and then select high performance to ensure that it is utilizing your graphic card to render this game once that is done simply click on save now close your settings before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to a very simple yet efficient tool that is 4d dig disk copy you can come to this page from the link in the description below and simply click on the free download button over here and download a very simple program that looks like this and over here you you'll see two simple features first one is cloning your disk and second one is cloning a partition if you want to create backup of your disk onto an ssd or if you're planning to just keep a backup of your data now first you have to select your source disk that is in my case will be disk 3 as it contains my c drive then clicking on the next button i have to select the target disk where i want to store my data or backup it. that will be disk 0 over here and then simply clicking on next it will start wiping all of the data of my disk and creating a complete one-to-one -one backup of all of the data on the new disk it is a one-click task which you guys can do right over here it is really good if you guys are willing to take backups or if you're planning to move your data from your hard disk drive to an ssd once again this tool is really beneficial for all of you guys who are involved in content creation or you are traveling and you just want backup of your data you can go check out 4d dig disk copy from the link in the description below let's move ahead step number two is the compatibility settings and for that open up the file location once again head over to alabama binaries win64 and open up our win64 shipping.exe simply right click on that head over to properties and then click on compatibility right over here click on disable full screen optimization and then click on change high dpi settings select override high dpi scaling behavior and then select application click on ok click on apply and that should be it next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and simply open it up once you're here click on custom and then make sure to enable save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while tracking and smooth edges of screen fonts these four settings should only be the one which are enabled as they will help you to disable unnecessary animations on your windows while keeping the basic look of it intact once that is done simply click on apply the next step is right under the advanced step that is setting up your virtual memory click on the change button right over here and then deselect automatically manage paging file size then click on custom size and for the initial size set this thing to the minimum allowed right over here type 16 in this and then for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator now multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 to get your memory in megabytes divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get over here should be written right over here that is 16 384 then click on set click on yes click on ok now once that is done simply close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search or create a restore point on this list and then simply go down and locate your local disk c click on create and name it now just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the award fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can alternatively join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial once you 
open it up, you will find in six simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority. In this, you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct DVOD value for your processor to improve its priority and the performance. It does the same job for Intel ones. To apply them, you can simply double click and run them. Second one is Avoid Priority and this is the most important one. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. You have high priority, above normal priority and normal priority. I would tell you guys which one to choose in the comments below. Third one is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry but you can apply your RAM registry from the presets I have already made in this folder. Once again, if it causes any kind of issues or you want to revert them back, use the reset to default registry right here to reset everything back again. Fourth folder is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. To run it, you can right click and run this as administrator and this will add up a power plan into your control panel. To access it, simply double click on power plans and this will open up your control panel. Right over here, select ultimate performance to ensure that you are using the right power plan. If you don't find it, click on show additional power power plans to select the one that you're looking for. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Fifth folder is unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are completely useless but they run in the background and consume your CPU and RAM resources. To fix it, you can simply double click on all of these registries to disable them. But make sure to note that if you use any Bluetooth service or any printer service, leave these two services as it is and disable every single one of them. At any moment, you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and over here, this will help you to turn everything back on. Simply double click to run them. Last and final is the programs folder in which I have left temporary files that you can right click and run it as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to continue and it will start deleting all temporary files off of your PC. It is a healthy process and I would recommend you guys to do it every single time you open up your game. Next one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0 and this is a program that we use to optimize our graphic card. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to look for your graphic card in this list. Make sure to check on the MSI button and then for the interrupt priority, go with high and then click on apply. Higher interrupt priorities will help you to enable your graphic card to handle higher interrupts. The more interrupts it can hire, the better the performance. Simply close it. Next one is Unpack CPU. Simply right click to run this as administrator again. As the name says, Unpack CPU helps you to improve your CPU's performance. Windows by default has a tendency to switch off the cores by putting them into parked mode if they are not in use. To fix this, you can simply slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply, click on ok and close unpark CPU. This will help you to fix the core parking issue in the windows. Once all of that is done, simply close your FPS back. Next step is msconfig. For that, simply press windows and R key and then type in msconfig in this. It will open up system configuration right in front of you. Head over to the boot section and then click on advanced options. Select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on OK. Once that is done, click on Apply. Next, head over to the Services section and then select Hide all Microsoft services. This will show you all kind of services which are application based. Over here, I would recommend you guys to uncheck all of those services like Apple, Adobe, Browser Update Services, Printer Service, Google Update Service and a lot more. They will stop running in the background and help you to save the handles on your PC. Make sure to know what you are doing because some services are really essential like VGC which is used to open up Valorant. If you disable these services, your games won't launch up. So I would recommend you guys to know what you're doing. Simply click on OK. Then click on Exit without restart. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications. And for that, I would recommend you guys to look up for local group policy editor. This step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, simply double click on Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, App Privacy, and right over here, you'll find Let Windows Apps run in the background. Simply double click to open this policy up and make sure that it is enabled. This will help you to enforce this policy and for the policy properties, default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on apply, click on ok and this will help you to disable all kind of applications running in the background which will help you to save a ton of resources on your PC. Once that is done, simply close your local group policy editor. Next step is heading into the game and applying the best in-game settings for maximum FPS. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to settings and in the graphic settings for the window mode make sure that you're using windowed full screen frame rate limit should be set to unlimited 
But if you guys have a low end PC, you guys can set it to your monitor refresh rate. I have a 240 Hz monitor, so I will set the frame rate limit to 240. Field of view, I would recommend you guys to go with 100 or 90 as it is the default value. Using a higher FOV might lead to FPS drops. Motion blur should be set to 0. V sync and ray tracing should be set to off. Upscaling, I recommend you guys to go with Nvidia DLSS 3 if you have an Nvidia graphic card, or go with AMD FX3 if you have an AMD graphics card. If you have neither, go with TSR or Intel Zest if that is available for you. For the DLSS super resolution quality, I strongly recommend you guys to go with performance and if you have a low-end PC, go with ultra performance. This does not lead to a lot of quality loss, but it will help you to gain a stable and more consistent frame rate. For Nvidia Reflex low latency, go with On Plus Boost. Then in the advanced settings, you will find graphics quality which should be set to custom and view distance, I would recommend you guys to go for medium. Shadow quality, low. Texture quality, medium. Shading quality, low. Effects quality, you can go with low or medium, both of them works. Foliage quality, always set this thing to low because it can improve frame rate by a ton. Same with the post processing quality, go with low. Reflection quality, you can set it to low or medium, both of them works fine. And global illumination quality, go with low. Once that is done, press C to apply these changes and then restart your game once to ensure that you get the frame that you are looking for. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do like and smash it subscribe button. There will be a crash fixing guide I would be making very soon, which will be probably next video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see that. And with all that said, we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.